Health officials in the Midwest and South are alarmed about a new drug where one of the main ingredients may be bug spray. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more trending news and social media stories every day. The street drug is called KD, and it's either marijuana or tobacco that's been blasted with bug spray. Police say they found those who have taken the drug in catatonic zombie-like states. Kind of a loss of, of function overall. Um, we find them with their clothes off, they've done that to themselves, they're eating the grass, they're pulling uh, dirt out of the, off the ground and trying to put it in their mouth. The active ingredients in bug spray are chemical compounds known as pyrethroids. They disrupt the nervous system of insects causing paralysis and death. So of course the natural next step is to take this thing that kills other things and put it on something that you ingest. And the reason they're used commonly as insecticides is because they're effective against bugs and relatively non-toxic to humans. I don't know if I buy into that, but here's a gross moment with me. I grew up in South Africa, and if we got bitten by any type of flying insect, the only way to get rid of it was then to spray a room. So you'd spray the room, and then you'd shut the door as fast as you could so that you didn't take in any of the chemicals and fumes from the bug spray so that you don't die or get sick. Just to clarify, this was 100% bug spray, and to this day, that is still what we do. Of course, you're not gonna try and breathe in something that has any type of chemical that can paralyze or kill. I mean, that just seems like common sense. And then if we're talking about off or anything that has any type of DEET in it, if you get DEET on something as simple as the front of your cell phone, it can actually burn little holes into your cell phone. And I know this because it happened to me. So let's assume that it's not okay to smoke. This Miss Haas was like, all right, you got no more weed. You call the idea that I pick it up. I never look at Ray like, yo, baby. Yo, baby, baby, I just, <laughs> nah, fam. Authorities in Indianapolis say they receive dozens of KD-related medical calls per day, often for the same person multiple times a day. We send them off to the hospital, get checked out. Within about two hours, they may be back here on the street doing it again. Probably because they're doing the drugs with the stuff on it, get sick, forget, do it over again, get sick, forget, do it again. KD or a related drug has also been spotted in Tennessee and Mississippi. Health experts are also worried about young people using KD because it's so easily accessible. It says the problem is this household chemical is extremely accessible and legal. So if you think like, well, my school is doing drug testing, so I don't have to worry about my kid. Well, some of the drug testing may steer kids into using a lot more of these synthetic drugs because they're not detected. But SC Johnson, the company that produces Raid, is not happy that its product is being associated with a drug craze and thinks medics might be mistaken about what's in KD. In a statement, they said, according to our scientific experts, exposure to the active ingredients in these products would not cause the reported effects. Global authorities, including the WHO and the EPA, for many decades have studied these active ingredients and they've not reported ill effects like this. Additionally, even if these active ingredients were intentionally overused, these type of symptoms would not be associated with them, nor would the state last for 45 minutes. Me thinks SC Johnson's pretty defensive about this situation. Realistically, I'm not even sure people using their product with drugs is even their fault. Let's turn to the masses to see what you guys have to say about it. Carrie Barton says, what is ridiculous is blaming it on the spray rather than the idiots that are doing this. This is nobody's fault but the person that is doing this. We're living in the days that it is cool not to have a job. We have the Democrats making people think they're worthless. The only way we'll come back from this is with God. That's right, when all else fails, blame Obama. Diane Fitzpatrick says, thanks for this important public information. People do not know what they're getting when this happens. I'm guessing they think it's marijuana, but who knows? At least the info is out there. C. Mead says, maybe legalize marijuana and people would not need to buy this crap. I don't know which state you live in, C. Mead, but it's been legalized in a bunch of them. However, not in Indiana, Mississippi, or Tennessee. Maybe you raise a good point. And that was a gross moment with me. What do you guys think about people who smoke weed with bug spray in it? Are they morons? Are they just out there looking for the next kick? How do we stop people from doing stupid like this? Let us know in the comments. And for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.